Guacamole, thank you for the sub. I am ill. Ill. Very ill. Worse than I was before, for sure. Not good. But I must press on because I want to. I guess I don't have to, but I want to because I'm going to verify this level a little bit. Hey, you know, I am I am tired and I am sick, but I am here, and that is what matters. Such things are allowed in this world, and that's what everyone must understand about it. Rare and well done. They call this medium. I would. I have to meet you myself. He has to be. He has a mushroom to keep him company. If you don't understand that, then you don't understand the first thing about Luigi. I'm gonna do a quick warm up because I don't want to stream for that long today. Because I am not well. I will stream for like an hour and a half, probably. Uh, so I will do a quick warm up before we get on with the. We'll just play interval real quick. So I apologize, I didn't stream yesterday. I was very sick. I slept for most of the day. Um, at one point I got out of bed, like I was in bed from like 4am to like 7pm or something, cause my fever wasn't breaking, and then I got out of bed because my friend wanted to look at something, so I did, and I like fell asleep in the chair while I was trying to help him. My body's really fighting this war right now. I did let the exterminator in it too. And then prompt went immediately back to bed. I forgot I had to do that. Or I forgot that I did it. This isn't getting every spin to variation, I'm so sorry. How many are there? Aren't there like a zigajillion? New word, I just made up. I don't think it's possible for me to fall asleep on stream, probably. Not on my fucking chair. If I got in bed, then I'd fall asleep. Bro. it all off. Now it's unblocked for me. I will simply get into it. For this life I cannot change. Huh. <sighs> Stupid arm hurts. It's being stupid. I wanted to slept on it weirdly. When I woke up, it was really sore, so I probably slept on it weirdly. This keeps happening to me before. 
Oh, the key just makes it so the glow doesn't bug in practice. You know what I'm saying? Well, there was like an added glow that was added recently by Yuka. And it breaks in practice because of some reason that I don't know. I you go explain it to me. There was like some reason why I can't work. I don't remember what it was. This jump has just given me nothing but trouble lately. For a million reasons. I think people don't realize this is arguably one of the hardest jumps in the entire level because you have to go you have to slide in between here and also land in there, but you can't rely on the ceiling or you'll die. I feel this eat shit. And it's bad. And you have to avoid it for that second jump too. It's definitely a tricky one. A person, thank you for the 40 months, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching for as long as you have. Well, I, I, uh, I mean, I have every jump kind of consistent at this point because I kind of have to. Or I'd be dead. a lot, I've been sleeping a lot, I've been doing the things I know I need to do, it's just rough. You know that smell you get behind your nose? I think I talked about this last stream, but like it's such a specific smell that you only ever smell when you have a sinus infection. At least in my case. Like, I've always said it smells like burnt apricot, which no one else seems to agree with, but my parents agree with it. My dad got COVID, it's really sad. Because he had to stay at the Cleveland airport for an entire day, and no one was wearing a mask. I don't know about y'all, but the one place I will still mask is the airport, dude. Fuck that. Fuck that. You guys ever been to an airport before? No, no, no. They're not clean. Airports are some of the least clean places I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not a germaphobe by any means, but they're not clean. Also, the airplanes themselves are some of the least hygienic areas in the world. As a kid, I used to love airports, dude, like, so much. And I still think they're really cool, and I'm too tall now. Let me fucking check one thing in the set, though. When he was there, my dad was at the airport, apparently it took him six hours to get through uh, TSA. And his flight was obviously, it took off without him because he couldn't make it through the six hour long TSA line. And then, 
Yeah, to catch another one later. Sounds like a really fun day. Yeah, he sent us a picture of it. It's the most hellish landscape I've ever seen in my entire life. It was literally backed out of the entire airport. Like the line was. The whole airport. You know how crazy that is? Must have been some major issue. But I always loved airports as a kid because... I don't know. I don't know what it was about them that just got me. I loved every little noise that was made. Like, even, like, the noise when you had to, like, buckle up your seatbelt on a plane. Even that noise, I liked it. I liked every little thing about it. But now I'm too tall and it hurts to sit in those chairs. It's your turn to thank you for the sub. My favorite shiny, good question. Maybe Trico, honestly. Trico's my favorite Pokemon, but the shiny's like my favorite color ever. It's just the whole fucking package to me, I think. I mean, I think the noises on a plane are meant to be soothing, because a lot of people are, like, afraid of flying for some reason. You know what I mean? Yeah, shiny trick of gas. On my phone, it's been out of my pocket for who God knows how long I'm charge it. I don't even know the last time I'm on my phone. Watch too many movies. I don't want to think it's bad. I think it's. <coughs> I think it's because plane crashes are always so horrific. You know what I mean? Like they always seem to come with extreme consequences, and like everyone's dead, and it's like a whole scandal and everything like that. It makes people think that it's like more like. I think people think, to some extent, that you can survive a car. A car crash, which I mean you can, right? But there's still a bajillion more car related fatalities than airplane related fatalities. Even factoring in like the ratio of people who drive who fly, it's like a ridiculously smaller amount. Plane makes it safely from one place to another, rarely makes the news. Guys, I need your help with something. I need you to explain something to me. Why does my mob tweet, like the one where I did that one room in mob, have 7.5 thousand likes? It's not as if, like, I'm like, oh my god, I got so much attention, that's crazy. I, no, I just want to understand what could possibly have made that get them, in, like, I don't, I, I'm genuinely asking, I don't know what could possibly have led so many people to be interested in that thing. Like, I know it's, like, hard inputs, but, like, the average person doesn't really give a shit. And yet, I was getting hordes of people that do not follow me that were liking this tweet, and I don't really get it. Cause like, I've posted other insane clips of stuff. Yeah, but like, my Edge of Destiny tweet got like 4k likes. Why does one of 7 Like, it doesn't compute in my head. Maybe it's just so digestible. It's so clear cut, it's like, and now it's happening, and here it is. Kinda, you don't have to like watch some long video about it, it's just there. But even then, it doesn't really get it. And blue checks and write it is really easy. Because some guy told me that 
you can uh, you can press the dash input and then press down down left like four frames after, like up to four frames after. So it's easy. I'm just bad. I probably should have just done that. Well, I didn't know, but. I'm going a bit today. Yeah, I guess you're right. A lot of weird stuff in video games requires a lot of like knowledge about what's going on, but it's very clear to anyone that what happened requires a lot of inputs, and it's hard. The thing about every room in Mob is once you do it once, you can just do it again effortlessly without having to try, and I don't get why that is. Because you can have like a million attempts that are like pretty close before getting it. Think that's why I want to give it to me. But then the moment you get it once, it's like easy. And it's not like a mental block thing. It's like once you get it, you can get it more times. Like I can probably redo that room in like fucking 10 minutes. Probably not. But... Just to like put in perspective, I'm stuck on the last room of Mob right now. I played it for a while, couldn't do it. I replayed the entire map and got back to the final room in like 35 minutes. And it took me, it's taken me like 24 hours to get there. That's just how mob works. You just do it and then it's done. Like you get it now. And it's so strange. But now I can't do the, I can't do the last room, dude. I can't. It's not something that's going to happen. I've gotten like, I can't even do it with save states, dude. I'm not even joking, like I can't get to the end with save states. Yeah, but I, I feel like there's probably a better way to practice what I'm doing. Like, I feel like there's like a mod that lets you like, freeze frame advance whatever like that that I just don't know about because I feel like this having to like flick the pause button all the time I'm sure it's slowing me down maybe these toolbox there is okay I think that's the key for me Look, let me show you final for those who think that I'm just like, mm. dude, I can't, I can't imagine ever doing this. Okay, okay, look at this. This is what I'm trying to do. So that first move is fucked. But I can do it. This input chain doesn't want to work. Like, I can't get this to work consistently. I do that. Doing this as early as possible is, like, impossible. And then I never have enough speed here to do this. I never have it. I can't do all these moves in a row. I just can't. It's not a possible thing. Like, look at, look at this at full speed. That doesn't look possible. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it can't be done. All right, I don't know how it would be done. I don't see how it could be done. I don't see how I would ever get that done. That's what I'm saying. I can't even do it. I'm gonna try the Vidi's toolbox strategy. Just so many inputs in a row. I, I don't know. I'm definitely improving though. Like I'm doing it better than I was before. It's 
speed hacking it. Speed hack doesn't really work in Celeste because the physics are slightly different with the speed hack in the game. If that makes any sense. And I don't actually know why that is, I just know that it is. FPS, yeah, because I think that's uh, you know how the game operates. <sighs> it's just so hard to learn how to practice it. I did see. Have you played the last room at all, man? Because I'm nowhere. I'm nothing. I'm no one. Every time I try to play for any long period of time, my brain like panics and it's like we have to do something else. I don't even know how to describe it. Like it's just too, too. You got to a spot in the berry that's impossible. Is it the, uh, the, there's a term for it. It's like a reverse and then you like do a corner boost. Or is it the one where you have to reverse and then up left? And then double jump thing. The screen transition to the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that one was tough. <laughs> that one took me a long time. That was like the entire first day of getting the berry I spent doing that one. get mob golden, which I probably will, just because it is probably won't take that much more effort than just clearing it, uh, then I'm definitely not doing full clear. Like, no, no, because I don't, dude, this, those teams are just stupid, I'm not playing them. I don't even think the golden is going to take like half of the time as it will take to full clear it. Most of the hard rooms you can't even die in. Yeah, in my research I found that. Task mob. It's fucked up. without skips and tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know, that makes sense to me, I think. When I was replaying it, I did the water room in like three tries, and it took me like, I think legitimately 11 hours to do the first time, or something like that. So probably just continue scaling to the point where you can do everything. Although I don't know how final is ever going to happen, or get consistent, but that's, I mean, like, it doesn't look like you can die there very much, so it's fine. Yeah. It's really easy to replay. I don't use Master GD anymore. I'm using my keyboard for platformer. The Wooting 2 HE.
The only mouse I use is the Model O, and that's for Minecraft and other such uses. Because who doesn't love the Model O? I don't know, you'd have to fuck up a mouse really bad. In very unholy ways. Dude, that chapter doesn't want to work, except from the start, I seem to be pretty good at it. Nowadays. That shit's just fucking destroying me. My chief have a 2 exists somewhere, I don't know where, but it's somewhere. And that's gonna be honest, guys. I don't have you ever heard of that one song? It's like honesty. That's you. Your OC standard. Cheater doesn't play, bro. Like, I, I don't even know the last time I've seen that guy on. Probably just smoke him. I wouldn't say ghosted everyone in dev, just like stop playing the game. We got bored of it. I mean, he has been playing for a very long time. No, I still love Bridge. I still think it's really interesting, but that's only because I, uh, I don't know. I can't say. I just I've always enjoyed it. I heard if you played Pokemon Black and White as a kid, you became gay and trans. <laughs> Wobbly thing with a sub. And you know what? I haven't played Kirby's Epic Yarn in a really long time, but I didn't play it as a kid. I should check that out. the game is where the most people who like played it either like well, I guess you don't like become gay you either are you or but it's like you realize I guess like one of the the game with the most gay people who have ever played it is I guess there are one that rises above the rest the y'all <laughs> might be Celeste Celeste has a fucking crazy percentage of LGBTQ. I mean, for an obvious reason. But also, I don't know. Super Paper Mario. I did play Yoshi's Woolly World. Woolly World. Is Celeste being, like, so highly played by those groups, like, solely just a byproduct of, like, the community being so inclusive, I wonder? 
because there's no way you can like there's like actual like oh yeah trans people love platformers like that wouldn't make any sense to me but I mean I guess I don't know I mean I know but Madeline can't even double jump though she needs that fucking crystal the, like the one with the arrow like the gray one Yeah, I've been grinding. Well, I, I don't have grinding time. I've been maintaining like an hour a day, which isn't that much, but... It's just easy. I've just been doing easy shit, though. I've just been like, vocab grinding, which I mean, helps, but... I need to start actually emerging. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah, I mean, like, I know all that. I'm just asking if, like, that is solely it. You know what I mean? What games I will never play? Because, I mean, I guess you could. I, like, it's entirely plausible that the entire reason why the percentage is so high is because Madeline's trans, community's trans, very open, very inclusive, right? But also, is it true? Could it be true that those people just like platformers more? Is Could that ever be the case? Could that be something anyone could even prove? I mean, like that, that's, I, mean I guess it's all up to speculation at that point. I have considered the mind virus. You're gonna get it soon. Be aware. Yeah, it's gotta be both. I thought it was like bedroom while I got out of bed for this. I got I got out of bed for like five hours yesterday too. I just really want to beat this, so I don't want to slack off. I'd feel bad if I did, even though I'm really sick. Feet are not broken yet, but. If that's not a bad idea, actually, Matt. That's actually really true. Also, to some extent, uh, single-player games, I feel like a lot of trans people, or even people that are just not a part of the majority, like a lot of really popular games require like communication with other people, and a lot of other people are just nasty. So a lot of people from marginalized groups are going to go to single-player games so they don't have to deal with people being like the worst over comms and shit. And then also, if you do that, Celeste is, like, the best single player in the game. It might just be. Like, in terms of, like, I don't want to be all, like, objectively this, objectively that, but, like, Celeste is, it's a fucking behemoth, right, in the single player game industry in terms of the kind of, like, in, in terms of games you can really get into and play for a long time. It's a monster. There is no... I can't even think of any single player game that has the same hold as Celeste does. Except for literally maybe Geometry Dash. Those are like the two big ones. No, I mean like single player games that you can like get into. Like in terms of like you play them for a really long time. Same way that we played, you do. 
No matter that community, uh, Valorant's like Reddit. They're like I don't even know. Like super. I mean, from what I've seen, they just seem to be really like annoying in every way possible. Yeah. There's a lot of overly sexist, misogynistic stuff. There's a lot of over-sexual people, but usually in a heterosexual way. Just a lot of weirdos. Or not even weirdos, but a lot of, like... A lot of neurotypical people can be like that sometimes. You know what I mean? That, that's how they like, want to be, quote unquote, for reasons that don't make any sense to me, but whatever. I'm not even trying to draw a line in the sand here, I'm just saying. How have I been? Very sick. It got me. Yeah, I'll probably only stream for like another hour if I can make it that long. I don't want to push myself. Yeah, a lot of the space is very male-centric. And not to be misogynistic at all, but a lot of male-centric spaces are not good. And that's almost solely because of the pushes of certain groups to convince certain people that certain things are true. There's a lot of people in the world that want to convince other people especially men, that all their problems are due to a certain minority, right? Whether that be, well, I guess women are a minority. You know what I mean? Like, due, due to a certain group. There's a lot of people out there that want to convince men that all their problems are due to this and this and this. So a lot, a lot of guys are just nasty. I still have never seen Ultra Killer, nor do I know what this is. I should probably find out. Yeah, there probably is, man. Oh, really? power simulator when i was in japan uh and we went over to my uncle's house uh he had a, like a ps5 and like the only game that was on it was power watch simulator and my parents played this really long and complicated actually no i played with them bro i wasn't even playing power watch simulator i was playing this really long and complicated game where i don't even know what the fuck it's called but it takes forever it's like called like 10 phase or some shit and it literally takes longer than any card game you could ever imagine. It's like, there's like an objective to like go to the next stage and there's 10 of them and it takes forever to get to the next stage. Phase 10, that's what it's called. I'm not even gonna try to explain it. If you know it, you know it. It takes forever. And I was sitting in the exact spot to watch my brother and my cousin play Power Watch Simulator for like three hours. And it was like, I felt like I was like in like a, like a TikTok video or something the whole time. Because I just like had that content in front of me while I was playing the card game. I could look up and there it was. No, I'm out of water. I'll be right back. I need water. My throat gets really dry. It's not.
it is like Monopoly length, you know? It's not that fun, but it's fun to talk about other stuff while playing it. Which is, I think, the point, right? It's just like having something to do while you talk. Which I can respect that. I mean, I play games with video games like that. In a certain way, that's what Power Watch Simulator is, too. I think it's an important thing to have. Speaking of TikTok, I was thinking about this last night. I don't know if I have enough energy to explain this, or like, I'm gonna try. I was watching this video about like how overly stimulated American life has become, or not even American life, just human life. Sneeze. Aw, oh, please don't, dude. No, it's not gonna happen, I don't think. Is it? Dude, stop, this sucks. I was, and I, I it, like, it was saying stuff I already knew. Like, I, I've been talking about this forever. Like, the idea that humans have advanced far beyond what our brains are capable of understanding. Or, like, ra rationally understanding. The human brain doesn't change, but the world around us does, and it's changing faster than we are, and it's going to cause a lot of issues. And I was thinking about it. I was a part of that curve, right? Like, my content even was a part of that curve. Like, it was a point. If stimulation was going like this, and 2020's here, this is, like, TikTok's up here, and 2020 is right here, this is where I got on, right? Or no, it's not even where I got on, this is where I was led up to, and that's where I decided to get off. And I feel like a lot of other people also got off there. That's where they hit their limit. Or they just didn't want any more stimulation because they knew it was gonna be nowhere good. Like, when TikTok came out, I decided not to download it. I didn't download Instagram. And I, I don't care for the reels. I avoided YouTube shorts. And still do. Like, that's where I got off. And a lot of my viewers, I think, did the same. And for a while, in 2020, I was still, like, the correct amount of stimulation. And it worked out for a while. But I don't think I'll find any success in the future as a content creator because I'm not able to be stimulating enough for where they're at now. I mean, I can make content for you guys and other people who got off when I got off, but it's... I don't think I can appeal to the masses as I once used to anymore. And I'm worried about that overall. Not even just because of, like, my YouTube career, but, like, my life goal is to entertain people and make people have fun in some way. But it's going to be difficult in the future if everyone's so overly stimulated and I can't, and I don't want to provide that level of stimulation, you know what I mean? And so I'm worried, I guess. Not even just for my channel or whatever, but the future of humanity as a whole when it comes to this sort of stuff. I just explained why. That's nice. But I think this constant race to be more stimulating than what came before us is going to lead to our downfall, probably. That's not a new opinion, but... The brain isn't changing to handle these new changes. 
So I don't see how it, this could ever end good. My genuine prediction is this doesn't stop for another 100 years. Because it will continue to make people more money, and we're going to have an actual, like, apocalyptic type event where everyone is depressed and no one does anything anymore. And nothing gets made, nothing gets done. Things start collapsing. And it will take, I think, literally a century to get there. Like, I don't think it's gonna be a thing we're even gonna see in our lifetime, probably. No, I think... Here's the thing, not this, like... We've known climate change is going to kill us for years, right? But we're still not really doing anything about it. Well, we are, but we're not doing anything major about it because it makes people money, right? And as long as these algorithms continue to make people money, they will ignore the health concerns until it is so bad that they're not even making that money anymore. Until they've sucked the populace dry. Right, just like, there will be efforts against the TikTokification of the human brain, but they won't be as big as the efforts to make them happen. Ah, oh, don't be sad. I don't even care. Humanity's probably doomed anyway. And that doesn't really bring me any sort of, uh, unhappiness. Be honest with you I don't think humanity is good for the most part I think people are good and that's why I want to spend my life helping people but like I don't know man I think life is just gonna get more miserable across the board right that's what I'm saying like I don't care about the future I just want to have fun while I can. And by future, I mean like way future, not like my future. I obviously care about my future because nothing's going to explode in the next 10 years. I mean like, you know what I mean? I just want to have fun and help people. Because I, like, yes, maybe I am an asshole and I'm cruel for not caring about the future, but there's people with so much money and so much influence in the world that are just so hell-bent on ruining everything, and I don't- I just don't care not to even try to fucking do anything about it. I'd rather just have fun while the world explodes around me or whatever. I could honestly give less of a shit. There's nothing I even want to do. If there was a button I could press to magically make it all better, I'd press it. I've had this mindset for almost as long as I can remember. Good idea. Let's get a Mars. I'll fix it. But no, I genuinely believe what the future holds is overstimulation increases for the next 100 years or so. And we go through like another Dark Ages type event. Gambling is gonna be rampant. Uh, Overstimulation is gonna be rampant. ADHD levels are gonna be the highest in recorded human history. In fact, people probably aren't even gonna get diagnosed anymore. They're just kind of having a new disorder above it. Uh, that way but I mean I don't think it's all bad I think like it might just be bad for like a century or so but then some event is gonna happen that makes people decide you know what we need a big change and then there probably will be eventually but I don't think it's gonna be anytime soon 
The humidity might be fine, but I don't think it's going to be any time soon. I think things are going to get much worse before they get better. And that's... That's whatever. I'm doing alright. Thanks, Miss Tetra. thing I'm really depressed about is like I'm scared I won't be able to entertain people in the future like I'm scared I just won't be able to do it that's really good otherwise I'm really fun but that is something that I'm very conscious about because like if you ask me right now what I want to do with my life that's the answer I want to give you like I just want to make people laugh in some way shape or form I don't really care about anything else, because to me that's the value I want to provide to this world. And if I failed to do that, it would be tough. I think. So I hope that... You know, no matter what I do after YouTube and stuff, I'm still able to find an audience for my bullshit. Yeah, that would that would that would make you depressed too. <coughs> I'm not actually depressed or anything like that. If I said it in a more cheery disposition, you wouldn't be worried about me. I'm just really sick, so I sound like I'm all emo and shit. I'm just sick. I'm good. There's things to think about, you know? Yeah, that's true. I just need this fever to break. That's all. Then it'd be better off, you know. <sighs> Excuse me. It's definitely been better. Well, I mean, it always was. Yeah, they do. Well, I don't think I'll ever end on a controversy. What are most controversies are like, like sexual love bullshit anyway, which is not a problem with me. And at this point I think if I had any opinions that were cancelable I would have already said them. I'm sure I'd have. Not to say I'm a, like a great guy or anything like that, I'm just not. I'm safe because I don't have any sexual or romantic attraction anyway, so it's not like I could be bad. That game is so fucked up, Yuko. You didn't miss anything, I'm very sick, I'm still trying to. I understand, I just want to keep my muscle memory. Going good, but I'm I am playing for real. So, see, look at this attempt.
That's a problem. I'm not actually sad or anything. This is not helping. But I can't really speak up. Alright, I mean, I guess I could because I want him. Or... Okay, what do you got? Really? chicken pancakes with syrup because it's high in fat and your brain's like, ooh, fat. I need dopamine because I'm sad because I'm studying for this test. And pancake is syrup, which is a sugar which increases dopamine. Well, that's like the objective answer, is you would think you would want the pancakes. Or at least normally the human brain does. I don't like sugar that much, so my, like, well, okay. My dopamine receptors don't work. Uh, just pancakes with syrup. Yeah, I kind of figured after I said it, but I was like, you get a, a sugary one. No, I never took the SAT. I took the ACT once, got a 35, and then never took the SAT. Because even by that point, they were starting to phase out, like, how much that mattered, and I was like, that's good enough, anyway. Sugar breakfast or no breakfast at all? Honestly, probably no breakfast at all. You know what? I don't like sugary stuff, but I love uh, syrup and honey, which are both really sugary. So maybe it's not the sugar I dislike. Maybe it's like artificial sugar, I don't really get behind. But fuck, I love syrup. Once I was up in uh, New Hampshire, and I got like the syrup pop. Like a little maple leaf syrup symbol on like a stick. It was so good. I can't describe why syrup does it for me, but it has to be the maple stuff. It can't be like the fake syrup, because I can literally taste it. Or like, I'm not even trying to be like a snob by it. I just hate artificial syrup, and I'm like, I mean artificial sugar, and I can taste it for some reason. There is an image of that somewhere. Right? Sugary drinks are the wor one of the worst things you could ever put in your body. Almost without exception. I honestly can't think of much things that are worse than that. <sighs> I got a really bad heartburn. Okay. It's not much better for you. I'm not even kidding. Some sugary drinks are so bad for you. I'm kidding. Coca-Cola being so wide better in the world it probably lowers the global like life expectancy by two years. I'm not even kidding.
you seen that documentary too? I mean, it's probably multiple, but yeah. If you watch any documentary about life in certain impoverished countries, Coca-Cola is more available than water. It's really cool. The only sugary thing that I uh, eat anymore sometimes is ice cream. On occasion. I love ice cream. But ice cream's more fatty than sugary. And it's gotta be like good ice cream. I don't like bad ice cream. But I'm a snob because I grew up. Uh, you know what? One of my favorite ice cream flavors is salty caramel. Oh my god, it's so good. I, I did get some salty caramel ice cream because I'm sick, so I figured it might be good for me. Which I feel like it is probably, so it's probably a good call. I've had gelato. It's pretty good, but I'm an ice cream guy. This is what I grew up with. I don't like chocolate, so I just like my chocolate shit. But I love mint ice cream. I'll be right back. I'll give you a bell. I'm very, um, I'm very partial on ice cream, because I've said this a million times. I grew up in Ohio, and it's a really big cultural phenomenon there, like, really big. Like, ice cream places that are open until midnight will be packed until midnight in Ohio. Like, lines of people out the door. The mm -hmm. look is really good. I really like their dark cherry. It's probably my favorite flavor from them. It's the best ice cream in the world. I can't even think of a real exception. I think it just tastes the best. I've had ice cream from all over the world. There's nothing like Trader's ice cream. Last time I was there, I ordered two scoops of peach and then two scoops of butter pecan and I ate it all. Because I knew I wasn't going to be back for a long time. I was like, fuck it, I don't give a shit. Four scoops of ice cream. I've never been to the Cincinnati Zoo. Well, that's probably a lie, but I don't remember it. 
Grandaddy is not that good. Thank God I'm not lactose intolerant, man. I used to eat so much ice cream, dude. And I'm not sure if it's just because the ice cream is really good, but no one ever really seemed to gain any weight from it or anything like that. I think really good ice cream that's not like too sugary, like, isn't that bad for you, honestly. Or at the very least, we didn't seem to think so. Even after, like, long cross-country events, we'd go get a fucking ice cream. Not exactly the best post-workout, but... Sugar is, is probably a big plus. Is almost none of the ice cream we get has any of it, or if it does, I'll check it has like three percent. I got a daily amount or something like that, which is nothing. Can I get into cross country? You know, I can't really remember anymore because I was so young, and my memories aren't so good anymore. A lot of people don't have good memories of childhood because of, like, you know, either they had a bad childhood or their parents were abusive or something. No, I just forgot. I just straight up forgot. I no longer remember what it was like. Even GD, I barely remember how I got into it. My memory is not very good. They say low dopamine can impact how you remember things as well, so... Maybe related. As I remember very little about my life. Despite having lived it. I remember my memories. My fastest mile is like a 520 something. From, I was in 6th grade, I believe. Because 6th grade is the year before I got my grass allergy. I was on track to be the best in the school. Actually, one of the best in the district. Oh yeah, that's when it all started going to shit. I was tall, I was lanky, and my dad is like a super athlete. So I had all the right genes for it. And my dad was always willing to help me. So I started to get really fast. I do want to write a book about my life. I was thinking about it. And I think I talked about this before. But I want to, I want to write a book called If I Was Here For Real. And every, like, alternating chapter is, like, one chapter talks about some life experience, and then the next chapter talks about, like, a dream, specifically. And then it keeps alternating until you get to today. I can't even really exactly pin why I want to write about it so bad, because I don't really want, like, pity or praise or any of that shit. I just want to write it. Is that just what it- is that just part of being human? Just feeling this need to share, regardless of the intent? Just expressing your words on a page just to do it? I'm not sure. Yeah, just doing it to do it. I mean, that's, I guess, what I've always done, right? I talk on the internet about all this shit. I don't expect sympathy or pity or whatever. I just want to do it. And yet I know it to be a good thing because when I listen to other people doing it, 
I don't feel pity or sympathy for them either. I just feel this sense of, like, connection, I guess. Or this sense of, like, understanding. When someone else expresses themselves. It is a moment of connection. And humans love connection. So I guess that's why. And now's probably a good time to write it, because I'll forget things if I leave it any longer. Almost certainly. Plus, I feel like my life's gonna change a lot really soon, one way or another. have been really grueling, usually. Deimos was tough, Kinos was tough. Uh, both of those took a lot out of me. Oblivion was really tough, and Edge Destiny was really tough. So I guess Kinos, maybe, but no, Kinos really put me through the fucking ringer. Maybe Deimos, because I was still a kid. I don't know if I can click that fast, doggy. I'm pretty sure I can. I did a river to 100 a long time ago, but I don't think. I mean, obviously that doesn't matter, really. I, I like I, that part is not an issue, but like the first half, I'm not sure if I can click fast enough. I've never done that before. It's so rare. Fuck, I just didn't remember to stop. I'll rip the red time for today, I guess. That's why I used the key, by the way. Man, jumping from all the way here directly into the spike is like an actual talent. Yeah, but I uh, like the first wave part. At least when I was, because I only really ever played it when I like made my like a day with. On it. But um, the first part of Slaughterhouse, like the wave specifically, I'm not sure that I can actually click that fast. Maybe on a Sayo, because that was on a mouse then, but I'm not 100% sure. You just put it so fast? I wouldn't say so. I mean, it is pretty fast, but it's not like that. The first part is like this nasty double click you have to hit, like near the start of it. Thing into the sub. That is so bad. I don't know how many guys are looking at the screen, but I just threw two bread or tubs to nothing. Like, I'm not kidding, I just threw two bread or tubs into the gutter for literally no reason. Two, not even one, two, and it was also back to back. 
I couldn't get my hand to move onto the key in order to save myself from dying. Yo, Brian G, thanks for the raid, dude. It's bugged. That's why you get that key when you're practicing. Movie plan. Does anyone else like really like this song? I guess just because I grew up with it, but like this song is so calming to me. Sapphire when you're gliding around on Latios uh, during the night. It's called Soaring Illusions. My favorite song from Celeste OC? Uh, probably 4B. Or Final Goodbye. I don't remember what the song is actually for me, but it's really good. I kind of had an idea to make us a, a layout to four B, like the song. Uh, using the, like, the speed hack triggers or whatever. But I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. I can't seem to build levels well. Have you been playing, Celeste? Five B is good. I can play it on my- you know what's crazy? Like, I haven't listened to, like, any of those songs in so long. I can literally play them all in my head from the beginning to the end. Thank you for the 100 bits of boo Appreciate it. Alright. I don't know, you played any of the D-sides. It's a shame they removed the good 3D. Nah, I'm like the biggest old 3D defender of all time. I played the new one and I got mad. The old 3D literally is my favorite map in the game, I think. Oh, 90, new 90 is probably. Like, if you've made it all the way to the D-sides, I do implore that you do 90, eventually. You don't have to play anything else, but 90 is maybe, like, my favorite, like, Celeste. Not even Celeste, it's like my favorite thing ever. 90 is beautiful, it's magical. Thank you, thank you, Olivia. That's what I'm saying. It is like the best map ever. And I can't, like, uh. <coughs> I can't actually tell you why I think it's the best map ever, 100%, but it just, it's Celeste at its best, right there. What do you mean? Like, what, what are your controls right now? Are they just standard? I 
Ninety's so good, dude. It's a shame I'll never get myself to replay it ever again, probably. I don't think I can, and I'll be hooked, and I'll want to do it. But I can't do that to myself anymore. At least you're using WSD on your left. Your left ring finger is super imprecise. Yeah. My ring finger is not very good. I mean, that's why, like, for example, like, right now, you probably already know this, but my middle finger, instead of having platformer control on my, like, ring finger on my right key to go right and then my pointer to go left, I use my middle finger on up so that I can avoid having to use my ring finger because my ring finger is weak, obviously. And it's the same thing in Celeste where my precision going right is just not quite there. But you can't do anything about that because you need to press up, obviously. Yeah, I kind of tapped out mentally from Grandmaster because I just, it's not that fun. I like some of the maps, but I don't know if I'm going to actually go through any of them. I like Spring Collab a lot more, I think. I think I want to play that first. You know what I liked about Spring Collab? Is that everything was five rooms long. And even though some things played around with that, it gave me an expectation. You know what I mean? Of like, what, what was going to happen in the map. And so as a result, I felt like I knew what was I was gonna get to each map, kind of, when I was playing it. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. I don't really like modern Celeste mapping. It's too input dense. I also like the bite-sized nature of it. It's just like these little short maps you do. I think I'd really enjoy if, like, the next Strawberry Jam, or whatever they call it, like, ends up being like that if they go back to the... And they can alternate between the two. But... I much prefer the dated maps. I was playing, um, Santa, Secret Santa Club, and I came across this map called Offshore. And I really liked it because it felt like how, like, some of the older maps played. I really enjoyed it. I know which more maps were kind of made like that. Yeah, like you start on the beach and you go down. Into the depths. Super fun classic slot gameplay. I was a big fan of it. Thank you so much for the 51 months. I'll probably go on, man. Yeah, there's too much to play. I'll probably go on, man. I really like Bowser's Castle a lot. And I like the Yoshi ride because they had like a real life sized Yoshi block. You know what I mean? Like the one you, you punch to get the egg out of. And then a sunflower, too. And some other stuff. I should have gotten somewhere, Mitch. I got two red attempts that died immediately to me being an idiot. Or they weren't red attempts, because I died right before it. So that 
that's cool. Yeah, I think what I initially liked about Celeste before all of this was like the rooms themselves. Like I, I've always been a goldener, right? What I liked about Celeste before is the rooms themselves weren't that difficult to figure out what you do, but they were still difficult to execute. Uh, but the real difficulty came with finding the strats that allowed you to do it. But now, like, the gameplay is so... It's made in such a way that, like, it's so standardized what you have to do. You're not gonna find anything. You just have to follow the path that's laid out for you with the inputs that you're given. And I don't really like it. There are strats, but it just doesn't feel the same. in New Donk or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Waterbury Mountain and 71D are some of my favorite maps just because they're so standard and they're so linear and straightforward and don't require bullshit. I mean, there is bullshit, but it's like, it's more, it feels more natural as opposed to how a lot of it is now. I'd be scared, bro. I don't want to take the star power up. I'd look at Mario offering me the stars the same way like a homeless person offers me heroin. Like, I don't... I'm good, dude. I don't even want to know what, what a superstar come down feels like. No interest in figuring that out. If you have epilepsy and you take the the superstar, you just fucking die. Is that it? Does your vision go rainbow too? I wonder. If your eyes are rainbow, do you see rainbow? I'd be scared, dude. I'd be really scared. I'm trying to think what power-ups I would actually take without being afraid of them. Like, here's the thing. If you take, like, a mushroom, even a mushroom, right? Do you get taller? Can you reverse that change? Is there anything you can do to, to cancel that? Or are you just stuck at that height forever? I'm already normal. Okay, let's see what I'm under there. Is the Tanuki suit something you can't just take off? Right? Do you have to take damage or just can you fucking just take off the Tanuki suit? No way, like, whoa, like, it's just fucking stuck. I can't get it off. I have to get, like, punched in the face. The symbiote. Maybe. Yeah. That is fucked up. Dude. 
Yeah, imagine that existed in the real world. Just like a, like a colorful house of music playing, and like it just shuffled, like shuffled various drugs around. And you just take, it's like cocaine. It's a really funny thought, I don't know. Taking the red star? Okay, but do you know when it runs out? Or are you just like... <coughs> you see the issue here? When the song ends. Imagine the panic, you're like really high in the sky and the song starts getting really faster and everything. I was trying to order with it. Grand Canyon Red Star Challenge. The hammer suit. I mean, the. I guess it's a real thing, but like the meringue power up would be pretty cool. But is that the same thing? Where it's just like stuck on your body and you can't do anything about it? I'd be scared. Like, what if it just straight kills you? Like, if you try to take damage. I would want to make music, but I don't know how. And it, whatever I would make would be fucked up. And probably unlistenable. Also, I don't know anything about music. Like, I know about it, but I don't know anything about it. You aren't Mario, you don't know how to utilize this shit. Well, okay, but I feel like the Tanuki suit, at least, you could probably figure it out, right? Surely it can't be that complicated. If I just run really fast. And then jump, and then... I don't know, like, how hard could that really be? Well, okay, but I don't... I guess I don't know what he does to continue flying upward, right? Like, he just does, like in Mario 3. It's not like he, like, like does a 360 every time. That's true. I guess I wouldn't know how to use the P power. Like I wouldn't know how to. Cause again, it's not like it's not like he like spins his tail in a circle to jump. I mean, he just had to attack enemies, but to like fly, he just like his sprite doesn't change. It just makes a noise. What does that noise imply? That would be awesome to have. But it's sick. Yeah, I'd really stay on topic. There is no next checkpoint, by the way. Warning, this is it. This to the end, that's what you have to do. 130,000 attempts not done. At least I think. We should make more. Ocean you're right, you're right. It's, that's not a fucking power up. The giraffe power up. It's a made up shit. I'm making you take the giraffe power up. Since you want to be so extra about it. Say you like it. Did you know this is the most times I've ever passed the drop down on one stream, and none of them made it to red? I've never done it three times in a row. In one, I mean, in one stream. I'm not joking. I just, I, I think I'm just too sick. I lack the clutch factor right now. My limbs aren't responding to me very well. 
don't even know how I'm getting there. Damn. I get paid to verify them. I mean, not really. I get paid by you guys for watching, I guess. Person named Yuka. She's made a bunch of other stuff that I really like. If you want to see more stuff by her, check out The Abyss or Void World. Some other really cool platform levels that I like a lot. No, 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 no. Edibles break that rule. You don't get better video games than edibles. You get worse. I don't know why. Not, not an option. Your reading might improve, but physicality would not, is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I do think the Abyss deserves- I mean, I think the Abyss deserves. Definitely move, like, epic or something. It's such a good level, in my opinion. And I can't believe it was made so early on. But that's all, like, subjective, this and that. I miss playing Mania. But I just had such a wall. I mean, I think I could have gotten Gamma. Maybe one day I'll go for it. I mean, I probably could. Like, I'm not too old to improve on what I have already done. Considering I basically got... I mean, I, I got Gamma Speed and I got Gamma Tech. Yeah, I mean, yeah, silly thing, I went from, like, Epsilon low A rank to, like, to clearing from the ages of, like, 23 to 26, so I can't be hating. Oh, really? When is the closet? My jack speed is so good, and I don't know why, like, compared to all my other skills. Which I guess isn't bad. Like, it's, that's a part of physicality. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for the next switch, for sure. Alright. I'm gonna be done. Sorry. I said I was gonna do it early anyway. My eyes aren't really working with me, cooperating with me. I think I'm going to rest. But I'm glad I got out of bed to do this, even if I didn't have a great day. Like, I made it past the drop down three times. That's fucking awesome, dude. That's so good. It's a shame I couldn't capitalize on any of that, but I just feel so, like... I don't know. I, it, was, it wasn't gonna happen anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry if I sounded depressed, I'm not depressed. I just can't... You know. I'm sick. That's how it works. Alright. I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day or whenever. If I feel good enough, tomorrow I'll stream again. Alright, see you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.